Strapper boys, today we're going to be talking about outrage culture. So I'm going to talk about two specific uh, controversies, I guess. Um, I mean, so first of all, I'm going to be talking about the hashtag not my aerial movement. So um, if for some reason you're you are how somehow you aren't aware, uh, Disney has cast a black woman as a as the little mermaid as ariel for the uh another soulless um <laughs> disney uh remake of one of their classic animated films and uh so here's the thing um now so apparently there was this like hashtag not my ariel movement and so here's the thing there are like kind of two sides of this there's like the one side of people that are like Bro, what are you guys talking about? Nobody's actually outraged uh, by this. So you guys, it's just like, you guys are making up fake outrage now. And then they're the side that are like, Oh my god, everybody's racist. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh everybody's outraged. I mean, so I think both sides are kind of goofy. Like, it's not a made up thing. Like, if you just go to the hashtag, not my, uh, not my aerial thing and you'll see like people talking about how they don't like the fact that she's a, that she's a, a, a black actress like those people do exist but i don't know i feel like people like making it out like it is the, like a, this gigantic you know uh mob of people i don't think that's really true either so i i fall somewhere in the middle because i'm an enlightened centrist uh, and yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, I think that people who are like, bro, what are you talking about? It's not even real. Like, what? Like, what? It's like, yeah, you no, know, it, it, it's real, but it's not like, I don't think it's like that big of a deal. Uh, I mean, yeah, like we should make fun of them and call them, call them dumb. So I guess I do align more with the people that, you know, like all the articles that were like, there's this massive backlash against Ariel being cast as a black woman. Yes, there's a massive back backlash and it's very, very bad. So I guess I side a little bit more with, with, with those people. But yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, on the casting, like, who who cares? Like, I think I think both sides of uh, of this are goofy. Like, like, people that are like, how dare they change this thing from the original movie that doesn't really matter and i also think that the sides that are like yes disney is so progressive they really care about social justice issues like a who who cares <laughs> what ariel's race is like there are some characters that you know the race of of, of the main character like is pretty like uh like is pretty integral to what the movie is so for example, if you cast a black person for Mulan, you got a problem there, probably. If you cast, like, a white guy as Black Panther, you know, it's probably not... It's just, like, that doesn't... That's probably shouldn't do that. So, <laughs> it's just like... Like, but for the Little Mermaid, who cares? She's a mermaid. Who cares? Uh, but... Do you think, you, you really think Disney has altruistic intentions? Yes, we hate racism so much. Oh, we need more diversity. Like, you honestly think that Disney, like, really cares about all this social justice garbage? Like, they just, they're just gonna do what makes them money. That's the only thing that they care about. Literally the only thing that they care about. But, I mean, like, hey, if they think that by casting a, a black actress as uh, Ariel will get them more money, then cool. <laughs> more diversity. That's, that's fine. Yeah, great. Uh, who cares? <laughs> uh, uh, and by the way, if you look up a, a video of the actress singing, she's amazing. So, like, she she got the receipts. Uh is that, am, did I use that right? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Uh, but, like, she, she can sing and she's... I haven't seen her act, but she's probably a good actress if she was cast as The Little Mermaid. But either way, this whole Not My Ariel thing is kind of goofy. Um, I Who cares? But this other thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So. Oh, boy. So, um, 
Terminator Dark Fate is a movie that's uh, coming out. And first of all, can you, can you just stop making Terminator movies? Like, just stop. It's it's not it's not it's not working out. Just stop. Just why why you got to keep on doing this? But uh, that's just a tangent, right? That's just not, not even what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the the director of the movie in an interview. He uh he said, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read you the direct quote. If you're a closet misogynist, and she's uh, referring to uh, the, because uh, the original actress, forgetting her name, but the original actress that plays uh, Sarah Connor, it's gonna come to me. I'm gonna feel like an idiot. Um, it, uh, she she she's coming back, right? Um, she's talking, he's talking about her, and he he said, um, this is a direct quote. If you're a closet misogynist, she'll scare the fuck out of you, because she's tough. She because she's tough and strong, but very feminine. Did, did you just imply that did you just imply that a Terminator movie with a strong female lead will will, will somehow trigger sexists did, 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 did is that really a point that you're making that that people might not be okay with a Terminator movie. A Terminator movie. Having a strong female lead. What? What? Who? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, look, 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 look. Let me let me be clear here with this entire video. Do these like do sexists exist? Do racists exist? Yes, of course they do. But I. In this, I, like, yes, there, there, were, there was an element of, of, uh, of outrage with, um, with the not my aerial thing. Just look up the tweets. But, and I'm sure that there will be some examples of, of people being mad that Terminator has, a, has a female lead. But Terminator has always had a female lead. Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, being like, yes, we're doing such a brave thing by casting a female lead in a Terminator movie. It's going to be very strong, but also very feminine. Yes, and people are going to be offended by how feminine she is. Oh, we're so brave. We are fighting against sexism. Yes, we are so brave and we are fighting the fight. We're talking about the Terminator franchise, a franchise that has pretty much always had a female. I think they've always had a female lead. Correct me if I'm wrong, except for uh, Terminator Salvation, where they had a a pasty ass white dude in the lead. I'm pretty sure that's the only one. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one. Even the TV show had was the Sarah Connor Chronicles. They've always had a female lead, and nobody has cared. <laughs> At least in, in the case of Terminator, in the case of Terminator, like, that has not been a, a major complaint from people. They've had complaints about Terminator, but it's never been about the female lead. I just, like, okay, like, again, in the Not My Ariel situation, like, yes, there were, like, there was a, a, a good amount of outrage. I mean, it was trending. Uh, like, the hashtag not my aerial was trending, so, like, it was out there, but this Terminator thing, like, bro, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, what are you even talking about? Like, you have to wait for, um, like, you have to wait for the sexism to come so that then you can deflect it. Because, like, if you... It, if you try to fight back against the sexism when it's not there, then you just end up looking like an idiot. You know, so oh my gosh. I don't know. I don't I don't I don't want to make a habit of making these videos. I making these videos like I did it with the the Joker movie cuz people were looking at the Joker movie and being like, "Oh my gosh." They are sympathizing with killers and psychos. They're sympathizing with school shooters. And it's like, 
like, like God, like, what are you talking? No, <laughs> like you can, you can, you can have a character that is extremely flawed, downright evil, and understand that that's not like a good person. Like, like don't like that is really a case of trying to censor art. Like the the backlash to the Joker movie. That is a that is a real case of trying to censor art. Uh, so I went back against people that were complaining against that, and now I'm kind of going against people kind of on both sides, but more so the people that, um, in the, in the Not My Ariel case, more so the people that were like, what are you talking about, bro? It's not, it doesn't even exist. Like, what are you talking about? And, uh, but I mean, yeah, in this, like, Terminator fucking Dark Fate, uh, thing, the, the, the director, Tim Miller, like, d- stop. <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? Just stop. I just... I don't know. I just, I, I really, really, truly, duly believe, uh, or wish, I should say, that we can just get to a day one day where, like, a black person is cast in a movie, or, like, is cast in, like, a major franchise, uh, and nobody cares. Like, nobody even bats an eyelash. Like, I just dream for the day that, like, a movie like Black Panther can come out. And people just go and just treat it like any other superhero movie. And I mean, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I get it. You know, when Black Panther came out and people, you know, people were like, yes, this is a, a grand moment in our history. I was in the first black superhero, but it's the first black superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe in this new era of comic book films. Yes. And it made a ton of money, which is great. Uh, like, I get why people do that, but it's, like, like, I would, if the goal is to get, it's to have, like, the, the, uh, the playing field level and equal, then we should probably maybe try to, you know, when, like, a movie like Black Panther comes out, just not really talk about it all that much, but I don't know, I don't know, I'm, I'm going off on a tangent, um, honestly, that's a video in and of itself, really, the whole, my feelings on the whole Black Panther situation. I might have even made a video about that. I don't remember. I don't remember what I did last week. I don't even remember what I had for dinner last night. I have short-term memory. I have short-term memory. <laughs> so now that was a joke. Um, okay, I don't know. Uh, fucking outrage culture on uh, both sides of the aisle is goofy. Uh, and it's dumb. And I just wish movies could be movies, and we could judge movies on how they're movies and not have to worry about all this stuff. But I cannot go onto Twitter without seeing this garbage. So it's here, and I don't know if it'll ever leave, but I hope it does. Uh, bye bye